Hi guys, my name is Tatiana Kononenko. I'm a relationship coach and a psychologist and today I want to talk to you about conflicts. You know, the first point that I want to confront is that uh, people are really having fear of the conflicts uh, and they have really this misperception, uh, misunderstanding, very wrong perception, very wrong understanding of what the conflict is at the first place. The second point that I wanted to tell you that the most people who are coming to me to work on their relationship or uh, the most people who are coming to me uh, who want to face, uh, who want to resolve the problems in their relationship, the most problems that are coming into the relationship are actually coming from misunderstanding because actually the people mostly think that the other person, the, their partner, needs to read their minds, uh, their thoughts and needs to understand how they want to be treated. But the point is that we are not able to read thoughts of other person and that is why it is always important to confront the person to tell about your thoughts to tell about your feelings whether your feelings were hurt whether your feelings were abandoned whether your feelings were ignored uh, and all of these topics you always need to confront the person but the point is that most of people actually are having fear to confront the other person and so they select the easier choice just to go away from the conflict. We as animals we have three strategies how to confront the danger in our life it comes from the nature so the first one is to freeze the second one is uh, uh, to escape to go away and the third one is to fight. Actually not one of these strategies is working in the real relationship because if we are looking into relationship from the point of view of the grown adult person, uh, all of these three points are very good to survive for our surviving strategy in danger and so on. But the point is that it, it really doesn't work if we are speaking about the relationship. The point that we need to face talking about the relationship, uh, it can be any relationship, uh, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's a uh, relationship between co-workers, uh, between, I don't know, your boss uh, and you as a worker and so on. Everything uh, should be confronted. And if you look at the conflict, as a tool which uh, gives you the opportunity to confront the problem, to really speak to other person, even if uh, you are not speaking in the normal way, even if it's like uh, screaming or shouting or something like that, in any of these forms, it is a way to confront the other person. It is a way, if you will start to look at it as a, a tool which permits you to understand what the other person needs in your relationship and maybe you are not you were not giving this to the other person until now until you had no possibility to confront each other or as well, it is your way as well to, to tell what you don't like about your relationship. It is a way also to set yourself free from all of this negative energy and negative thoughts and, and negative feelings about your relationship. Because what? We all are humans and there is no human, I can assure you, that is totally okay with any relationship that she or he has and of course we have some point that we don't like about the way that the other people are confronting us or the way that the other people are treating us so i suggest you 
to change your point of view on a conflict, but to start to see it as a way to really confront the person, confront the problems, and really to speak with others in a different way, so even if you are shouting, about the points that are not really okay for you, and to tell the other person about how you want to be loved, and also to hear from the other person the way that she or he wants to be treated by you, want to be loved by you, and what is also not okay for he or for she um, about your relationship until now. So I suggest you to not to escape from the conflict, to not to escape from the confrontation and to really confront the person even if it will not be the really the way you like it, even if you will be screaming on each other, shouting on each other, or um, in other way, I now important uh, point that I'm not talking about a physical fight or uh, about a physical confrontation or about a physical arguing of two people. I'm speaking about verbal way verbal fights, uh, verbal way to, to tell the other person how you want to be treated. This is the way. And this is very, very crucial and important topic and tool that you can use in your relationship. Because uh, it is very important to have this possibility to really relieve this negative energy, to to find the way to take it from your inside and to throw it outside, you know, so you will not uh, ruin yourself from the inside. And also to confront the other person, because guess what? The other person cannot uh, read your thoughts, cannot read your mind and cannot just guess what you want from this life and how you want to be treated. The perfect way how to understand how you both can love each other better is to have a conflict. And you know, sometimes I hear from the different interviews or from different shows or from different movies uh, everywhere in the media and the social network that people are like uh, telling you, oh, you know, we we are not really having any fights, we are not having any conflicts, we, we are the perfect couple. You know what I'm telling you? If you don't have any conflict in your couple, there is no couple. Because everyone in this planet, every human is not satisfied about something in their private life. So if you're not having any conflicts in your couple, if you're not confronting these problems, it means that you are hiding them inside of you. It means that at one point, this insatisfaction, these problems, this uh, negative energy, this negative um, feelings will ruin you from inside. And it is very, very crucial and important to tell the other person how you want to be treated, to tell the other person how you want to be loved, to tell the other person how is a better way uh, to make this your relationship better, to make you even closer. And this is what happens uh, after any conflict. There is a, a high possibility that you will come towards each other, that you will be even closer than you were before this conflict. And you don't need to have fear about the conflict. You don't need to be scared about the, the conflict. You need to use it as your tool. You need to use it as your possibility to understand better the needs of other person, to also to give the possibility to the other person to understand your needs better. And this is very, very important. And a lot of people are not really understanding this. They see the conflict as something very bad. Also, I'm living now in Milan, in Italy. I know a lot of people who are preferring to avoid the confrontation, to, to avoid the hard uh, conversation, to avoid the conflict. 
But guess what happens? Your relationship will not get in better if you will close all of these negative feelings inside of yourself. If you will not tell the other person how you want to be loved, if you will not tell the other person about what he or she is doing wrong about you, and also about the way how to do it, this, I will do the other video, because in a small video I'm not able to tell about everything. There is a special way in which the conflict can be very productive, can lead to a uh, better relationship, can lead to you coming even closer uh, one to, to other. There is a specific way how to do this. So I will tell this in the, the other video. Please subscribe on my channel. Please put like to this uh, video, put thumbs up, write the comment down below. What do you think about the conflicts? Or how you uh, see the conflict? Whether you have some negative feelings about conflict, uh, maybe you have some point of view that uh, your parents were telling you about the conflict, maybe you have some uh, uh, negative perception about conflict, maybe you have fear about the conflict. So put the comment down below and I will be very excited to read it. Okay, guys. I think this is all about the conflict. So I really ask you to try to to change your perception of the conflict this is very important to really confront the people because if you will uh, continue to avoid people or if you will continue to escape or if you will continue to freeze uh, you will not resolve any problem the only one thing that you are doing is to hide your uh, feelings inside of you is to not confront the problem, not to resolve the problem, but to make it worse. Because at some point, this all negative feelings, all negative um, thoughts that you are hiding inside of you will ruin you from the inside. And also you will just send this problem uh, in your future, you know, by doing this. If you are not confronting the problem, if you are not uh, closer to resolve it, if you are not wanting to confront the other person, you will just um, send it into your future and you will just continue to live you know, with this problem. And of course, it will destroy you from in the inside. And so I will be very interested to read what you think about it whether you, this video was useful for you please uh, uh, guys comment down below with uh, maybe topics that you want to know more about and i will do uh, the videos about this because the english channel is new for me and i really want to know which topics are interesting for you and so i will do the new videos about it and uh, I wish you a great day, a great evening, and we see each other next time.